Let's have a look. There's some sheep. Oh look, there's ibis too. Ibises. Sheep and ibises. The ibises are endangered, but they were here first in Australia, even if they do fly overseas or somewhere. And that's the sheep. They're all the food. The sheep are the food, and then we have the fences. All the food is locked up. That's what you do with food, apparently. You lock it up, put it behind a fence. And at least the ibises are free, but they were endangered. A lot of them were poisoned by some farm chemical. And they all disappeared. Ibis may safely graze. They're the ibis anyway. But I came out actually to film the, sh film the sheep. I was going to play sheep may safely graze while showing lovely pictures of sheep. I'm going to spook those ibises in a minute, aren't I? Aren't I terrible? They'll come back though, still. It's their home isn't it? The sheep are getting further away. Usually when I watch other people's videos on YouTube like this, of people walking, I get seasick. The undulation and the jerk of the camera. Anyway, I'll shut up now and just photograph these sheep. This is where I live. This is my world. This is Australia. Everything's turning brown for the summer. I'm in a ditch now. I wish those sheep would come closer. There are some lambs. There's a big boxthorn tree, African boxthorn. What's it doing so far from home? Oh. Where are they? There they go. Sheep may safely graze. Well, they won't be safely grazing because they'll end up being uh, chopped up to make mutton, won't they? I'm a vegetarian, but I like to be broad-minded. Oh, look at that one running. I have to watch out for snakes. I saw a couple of snakes lately. You know, this is a pepper tree, it's far from home. They're from South America. I think their uh, pink peppercorns can be used in certain blends. I'm always sidetracked, aren't I? Close up time. Sheep. Sheep may safely graze. This is Australia where the skies are so wide. The skies are so wide out here. 